In our world news, China reopens borders as Lunar New Year travel kicks off. China has lifted quarantine requirements for inbound travelers, ending almost three years of self-imposed isolation. The containment policy had a huge impact on the world's second biggest economy and generated resentment throughout Chinese society that led to nationwide protests just before it was eased. In the final unraveling of those rules, Sunday saw inbound travelers to China no longer required to quarantine, after almost three years of being subject to varying durations of mandatory isolation. At Shanghai's Pudong International Airport, a woman surnamed Pang told news agency AFP she was thrilled with the change to the rules. Chinese people rushed to plan trips abroad after officials last month announced that quarantine would be dropped, sending inquiries on popular travel websites soaring. But the expected surge in visitors has led more than a dozen countries to impose mandatory COVID COVID tests on travelers from the world's most populous nation as it battles its worst ever outbreak. The outbreak is forecast to worsen as China enters the Lunar New Year holiday this month, during which millions are expected to travel from hard-hit megacities to the countryside to visit vulnerable older relatives. China on Saturday marked the first day of Chun Yun, the 40-day period of Lunar New Year travel known pre-pandemic as the world's largest annual migration of people. This Lunar New Year public holiday, which officially runs from 21 January, will be the first since 2020 without domestic travel restrictions. China's Ministry of Transport said on Friday that it expected more than 2 billion passengers to take trips over the next 40 days. In China's southern semi-autonomous city of Hong Kong, Stringent cross-border travel restrictions with the Chinese mainland were relaxed on Sunday.